really like to think in spirit as a, an action of the divine. And uh, if it's like so, water is spirit. Because as we know, water power life connects all is the central flow of all the life. So um, water it's at least an expression of the spirit. And uh, me as I didn't choose to be a farmer, it was a, a consequence of life. But since then I am trying to understand what is being a farmer, what should be being a farmer. And uh, one thing that I realize is that we are all farmers because we eat three, four times a day and the food is coming from ecosystems, from nature. And farming is mainly the way we relate with ecosystems, with nature, with water. So, um, thinking that uh, this relation between humanity and ecosystems, if it's not our biggest cha challenge, it's one of the biggest ones, because we didn't find out, in my way of view, a minimum, minimally digni dignifying relation with nature, uh, in all senses. So we, we should really think about this, we should really work about this, and we should really try to uh, find experience new ways to reconnect people with the natural scenario. That's a very strong idea for me, how to do it, how to deal with food as a the principal connection between humans and water and ecosystems. I am Portuguese and uh, uh, I'm very uh, strongly inspired by an old tradition in Portugal that it's coming probably from our native roots or from Egypt, for instance, that says that uh, someday we will create a new empire. That's the opposite of the empires. There's no empire. In this vision, it's uh, a lot related with our idea some, some years ago when we, exactly because of this bad relation with ecosystems, we Portuguese didn't want to find any way to, to India or wherever. We really, we, we just uh, were um, living the misery that we created because of this bad relation with nature. We eat this country and we had nothing to, to eat. So we picked the boats and we tried to find something else, not in a way to create an empire. But then these ideas came and we tried to impose, to, for instance, to the Orient, the Occident, uh, vision and uh, in this tradition it's always saying that we have that was a wrong idea and we have to be part at least of the opposite story we have to use the sea the water to bring a universal vision based on polyculture in all senses but especially based on the way nature and water works, this means cooperation. In this idea, I think that it's very, very important that we create again theaters, scenarios, where we can relearn to cooperate. It's not an easy thing. We know now that we are mainly what we participate in. So if we are participating every day in a casino scenario, our brain works like that. We have to establish again places, systems where we can relearn how to cooperate. And that's, I can say it again, for me it's not an easy issue. And another idea that comes often to my head when I think about this is that nature is the biggest theater for relearning how to cooperate. Because I 
truly I'm not sure of anything as you uh, can understand but I, I, I truly believe there is no competition in nature there is another principle that's completely different it's what the, the Latins called primo inter pares I want just to be better I want to be better I want to grow up I want to be a better client I want to be a better person I want to be a better in my function in the big macro organism so this is different from competition <coughs> competition it's a uh, I don't know probably a story invented by the man the unique good thing that we have from that it's enough that it's technology speeding technology maybe so, but now it's enough we have enough technology so we have to push competition and these ideas of egoistic genes as we know that's not it's not correct so Creating theaters uh, for relearning to cooperate, uh, it's very important for what we, what we dream for, a new vision of water, because um, if we, we, we don't relearn to cooperate, and um, it's, it's not possible. And of course, this idea of uh, a new, no empire, um, it's, it's, I have to tell you that it's, uh, uh, for me, the, there are uh, the type of uh, celebration still in Portugal. It's called the celebration of uh, the Holy Spirit. You can see it in different places of the world, but especially where the Azorian people uh, were, but also in Azores. It's a, a premeditation, and I invite you to, to, to see a little bit more about the, the symbols of this, this celebration. For instance, in this celebration, one important thing is that we put a crown in a woman, in a child. This means in the central of the power. This means that in that period, we'll be, again, specialists on creativity. The word child in Latin comes from creation, creativity, co-creators. So this is a very strong inspiration for me. And um, of course, this, this um, building of this new concept of empire, it only can start in ourselves by our personal working with our inner. So, and there is probably also an issue of cooperation between our different parts, our body, our soul, our spirit. Because I really forced also to understand that we have, all of us have a light inside of us from the divine. And we have to know how to, to power this light and to allow us to, to do one thing that for me it's very easy to, to, to feel when I look at water, that it's the idea of uh, that our action can make the spirit relight in the matter. That it's easy, I think, to see when you look at water, and especially when you have this image in front of you. So, in terms of um, practical actions, because I think that we uh, also should mainly do things, uh, act, uh, not only think. Um, when we act, things are, are different. One of the biggest problems probably was this disconnection between matter and spirituality. Um, well, I'm, I'm working in different approaches, but mainly I follow this uh, big inspiration that is coming from Japan, that it's called Pikei. Pikei, it's called nowadays different worlds in the planet, like uh, consumer-supported agriculture, or AMAP, or consumer groups. So, this is maybe a way to 
really try to reconnect people to the ecosystems, to reconnect people with its farming part of life that I think we all have, and we have to assume, because we have it very hidden in us. To that be dignifying, it of course, it, uh, we should be able, we all should be able to participate on the co-creation with nature. And that means that we should be informed, that we should be able and it's possible to participate on the decision every day that we make in the ecosystems. And of course, we should take part of, part of the risk. And this, no, this is nothing what we have nowadays in the food system. So, and it's and it, and this decay formula, it's a, a very easy formula to work on, on, on another vision. So, um, there are different ways. Uh, we are trying one in, in, our, in our place. I have to, to share to you that I dismissed a long time to, be, to deal with um, ecosystems as a business. It's my mother. I can have relations with my mother. I can learn with my mother, but I cannot sell my mother or, or putting my mother wherever to have some money. But as I told you, I didn't choose, so I accepted that, that process for some while, some time, and then I decided it was not, it was enough, because first, I don't, I don't know how to do the real good decisions in ecosystems. That's clear for me. And I think we, nobody knows still. So, but even if I knew, I don't have an economy that allowed me to do the, the right things. But even if I have a, a, an economy, it's not an individual thing, because when I do decisions in ecosystems, I have a huge consequence in community, not only on the human community, but of course in the natural community. So I should never try to do it alone. So we have to reorganize ourselves in a new, new way to allow people to be part of this story, to be conscient deciders in ecosystems. Mm -hmm. I, I make a part, a part here because we, uh, we don't think too much about this. It's, it's so important the way we relate it to ecosystems, we all know, but it's the difference between a territory and a, and a home. Mm -hmm. If we don't have an ecosystem, we are looking, if in the moon, you see that the moon is full of holes because there is no trees, there is no protection, <laughs> no but from the meteorites. So um, this is important why because we don't we are we are long time thinking how to manage and how to relate it in the human system but to, uh, who cares about our relation with the natural system? It's a monarchy in my case. I've I've grew up as the king of this farm. Nowadays it's even worse. There are two more perversal even ways. One is money. I have a lot of money. I buy I bought all the lands around this area and I can have consequences in long term generations in this region and in global in some things, but the other uh, bad way is politics, pyramidical politics. One, uh, I'm finishing, but one of the things that I, 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 I feel more strongly nowadays is that we cannot accept the state-nation concept, the empire. And we are completely in this scenario. And not accepting the... the, the um, the concept of pyramidical state nation scenario, it's creating a new one. And it's creating a new one, it's uh, like we are trying to do, trying to find a group of consumers. We are now 100 
10 families supporting the farm where I live, where I work. We think that maybe with 250, 300, we fly along. We don't concern to nobody, only from us. This means that we make all the laws in food, we can make all the laws in education, we can make all the laws related with special things like water, a lot of things we can manage by ourselves. And this is um, pushing the power to us, that normally we don't want because we like, we are vicious and complains. And, uh, but a very nice statement of, of life is the moment where we can only complain from ourselves. That's a very good point, maybe. So, um, we can talk more about details of uh, the project where I'm working with, but these were the ideas I wanted to share to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alfred.